Want to see something cool? If you hang your hat towards the top of the map and share the space where the air hurts our face, then I'm about to help you with our sodium source shit show. The two most expensive things that most of us will ever trade our backs and brains for is our habitat and our horseless carriage. The greatest enemy to both is water. Most corrosion is oxidation, and that's just setting your car on fire in slow motion. In Michigan, the operational lifespan of the average car is about 11 years, because we have four months of winter, four months of it's too hot to cuddle, and four months of quit being a pussy, it's fine once you get in. Sand is abrasive, salt causes corrosion, and both of these are hell on your ride. A Michigan commute is like an Eiffel Tower power hour because you're getting screwed coming and going. There's an old school way to slow this down and almost nobody does it. For half the price of a new set of tires, you can double the lifespan of your car, and more people need to learn about this. It's called undercoating, and like underwriting and undertakers, there's a lot of sketchy fucks and shady fakers in the industry, and you need to watch your back. Ask questions, demand evidence, and be damn careful not to step in the marketing because there's an abundance abundance of bullshit in the seedy underbody of the conformal coatings world. There's more secret potions and lotions for under your car than there are for under your scrot, and every swinging dick in the Rust Belt has their own snake oil that they assure cures everything from patina to angina. It took me months to find someone who didn't want to screw me blind, but Kevin at Spray Tech Coatings answered every question I had, backed it up with examples, and let me shoot video of the entire process. Yes, this video is from before I painted my car. I wanted to test this for a year and be certain before I told you about it. I do my homework because you matter. The secret is, there is no secret. Hose the bottom in lanolin and the delicate places in paraffin. Wool wax and candle wax. They're not expensive, special, or unique. It's just a soft, reasonably durable layer that'll shield from the salt spray without trapping water. Things like epoxies and rubber compounds last forever, but anything under there is gonna chip and get pinholes. Forever starts approaching like the headlight at the end of the train tunnel because your car is now gonna trap water and rust from the inside out. I mean, really? We learned this lesson in the 80s when DeLorean did the same thing with epoxy-coated frames. Great idea, bad plan. One pinhole and it rots away like stage four syphilis took my brain. That's why wax is better. Plus, it smells amazing for that first week until it cures. If you're in southwest Michigan, give Kev a call and tell him I sent you. For anyone else, ask questions and demand evidence. Critical thinking is how we beat the bullshit in our society, and sometimes the old ways are the best ways, and that's pretty cool.